In today's video, I'm gonna break down to you how to make a circle face cam in two different ways. Welcome back to another video guys, my name is Jack. I produce weekly content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. Subscribe now if you're interested. Today is a, another video that we've been suggested the topic of the video by a subscriber. And if you guys do suggest the topic, I will like 99% of the time use your topic and also give you a shout out at the beginning of the video as incentive for giving me some video ideas. So shout out to Custom Llama. He says, hey Jack, could you please make a tutorial on how to do the circle face cam and may I please have a shout out because I'm trying to grow and uh, you know help other people with YouTube thank you thank you custom llama for giving us a video idea to talk about today and it's a very good one because I you know use the circular face cam in damn near every single one of my tutorial videos so I'm sure people are wondering at this point how do I do it and uh, you know it's, it's relatively self-explanatory though uh, also and if you're a you know proficient in premiere you probably have figured it out already, but I'm going to show you in two different ways. One way using a free software called OBS, Open Broadcast Software, which you can download down below in the description, and uh, you know a another way in Adobe Premiere Pro. Both quite different ways, but uh, you know just to explore both angles. Uh, you know some people don't have Premiere, so I'm going to start off with OBS, right? So on screen right now is OBS. This is how I record the screen. Um, I'm recording the same screen that has OBS, so it kind of looks like it's being duplicated a hundred thousand times. Kind of just ignore that. It should be all right for the time being, all right? <laughs> um, to actually go about doing this circular face cam, first off, you are actually going to need a green screen circle. So um, I'm actually not going to go through the process of creating it, but I'm going to leave it for download down below in the description, right? Here it is. Download it in the description. I've already created it for you, or you could go into Photoshop and create yourself a custom shape. You know, I've just made a circle, but you know, for reference, you could make any shape and you will be putting your face into the shape of the, you know, green screen and we'll be using the alpha channel in OBS. But go ahead and make yourself a green screen circle or a green screen star or whatever you want your shape to be. But of course, we're doing a circular face cam tutorial, so just make a, a circle to keep it simple for the time being, um, and uh, you know, go ahead and import it. So, um, or my bad, don't even go ahead and import it. Uh, go ahead and make a new video capture device over on OBS, and uh, you know, I'm gonna press OK, and I'm, I'm just gonna use me, my face cam. Hey, what's going on, Jack? You good? Hell yeah, I'm doing quite good. Thank you for asking. And uh, you know, I <laughs> I just need to configure it actually. So I want to go ahead and do custom, and I want to do 1920 by 1080, just so we actually have a full frame, um, you know, situation. And I got no clue where it's where it's where it's just gone to. Um, so, oh my bad. There, there we go. All right, what's going on, Jack? You good? Hell yeah. Um, and it's going to be pretty simple after this. We just want to right click it, go to filters, and then we want to go to plus down here in the bottom uh, left. So effect filters plus, and let's just go ahead and press image mask slash blend. Go ahead and press okay. And uh, you know, let's just go ahead and change the type from alpha mask color channel to alpha mask alpha channel. And then let's go ahead and just browse and actually just find our circular shape. And just like that, we've created it. You know, we, we, we could even adjust this a little bit up there so that we can um, come more to the center of it. And uh, you know, then simple as that, we've got it right here. And uh, you know, we can shrink it down to whatever size we want. And I'll leave this for download in the description as well. But I've also got a ring, so we could go image plus, and uh, you know, actually just browse and find the face cam ring, which I'll leave down below again. Like I said, it is 4K, so you see it's pretty damn big. So we, we're going to have to adjust it um, just using the adjusts. Go ahead and place it down here. And let's actually just bring this up to full scale. And then we could just use the um, uh, keys to kind of, you know, slowly frame by frame, bring it across. So we actually put ourselves in this circle. And that is it. Just like that, we've actually created the circular face cam right there. And uh, very, very dope, very, very easy as well. So just like that, we've done it. Now, how do we create it for Premiere? Even easier, honestly. Let's go ahead and open up Premiere right now. Let's let it start opening. And, um, you know, we're going to. We're gonna do this in, I'm gonna predict about 60 seconds to uh, to 120 seconds. That's all it's gonna take us. Let's go to the play around project, which is just my project for doing absolute nonsense in. And let's actually just go ahead and open this up. And we, uh, we, we, we might already have a clip in here that we can just kind of use right away. In fact, we do. Um, there we go. So uh, let me just shut all these down actually, hold tight. Um, Let's actually just go ahead and find another clip. Find a clip that I can just uh, that I can just kind of use. So any of these will work. Let's just go ahead and take this, make it into a new thing, 
and I just want to go ahead and just chop out a section, bring it over, and let's just go over here to effect controls, and let's just go to opacity, and you see this circle right here? We just want to go ahead and click it, and it's going to create like an uneven circle, so we just want to click the side and press shift and just adjust it over a little bit until it looks kind of like a, a decent circle. Bring it up here to my face, then we want to go to position, and then we can position it down here just like a face cam, and you know, um, go ahead and actually go over and bring our face cam circle in here. And just like that, we can make this 50, because remember it was 4K, and then just go ahead and bring it over a little bit and just adjust our actual uh, thingamajig itself, our kind of thing, uh, browser, uh, circle rather. So hold tight, this is glitching out a bit now. Bring it over here, use the guidelines to adjust it to actually make it match. And just like that, we've created the face cam in the second way to do it, which is in Adobe Premiere. And uh, you know, then it's up to you just kind of tweaking it to make it perfect, just like I'm doing now. But that right there is two different methods and two pretty significantly different methods actually of creating the circular face cam if you do not have Premiere. Um, then you can do it in OBS right here. What's going on, Jack? How you doing? And uh, you know, if you do have Premiere, I would suggest doing it in Premiere. We can give this a play right here. Mute that though. And uh, you know, we've just taken this from a random video, of course. Um, and the face cam here is literally just from my webcam up here. But boom, that is it right there, guys. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you've reached the end of one of my videos, you're, there's, you know, there's a high chance you'll reach the end of another one of my videos. So I want to tell you guys, you know, I got. All the other content on my channel is pretty damn similar to this. Video production of, of, of all sorts, video editing, videography, how to make money making videos, all the topics I talk about on a weekly basis. Follow me on all my other platforms. If you, you know, enjoyed this video here, you'll enjoy the kind of extended stuff that's going on on my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, and uh, join the Facebook group to get some inside information and uh, overall, you know, first in line sort of stuff. But thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next one.